Yeah, what is up guys? It is me, Enzo HD, and this is my first tutorial in a while, because, I uh, don't know, I've been having so much stuff in the way, and I've been having to do speed ups for competition and stuff, so sorry about that guys, but yes, this is a Cinema 4D tutorial on how to create chains that you probably have seen in uh, one of my intros, I'll show you that later, but a quick update just so you guys... No, uh, I am currently running a background competition, so if you'd like to uh, see that video or enter, just check it out, it'll be on an annotation on the link and in the description, and also to, I have currently opened, uh, not currently, recently opened with my friend Tense, um, a new graphics and editing team known as Visual Editing, so it's right here. And we are looking for the best underrated guys out there for the team, and we're going to be uploading regularly as soon as I get this intro done for it. Um, to, which wouldn't take long. This, but hopefully tomorrow will be finished, and we'll start just up, up, uh, updating, updating, uploading as soon as possible. From there, we've already got quite a lot of guys here. We're looking for editors, etc. So if you can, please, please do show your support and go subscribe to them. It will be really awesome if we can hit a hundred before our first upload. That would be great. Okay, um, so we are creating chains with when uh, in Cinema 4D. Something's wrong with me today. And is these effects as you've probably seen from the A Star intro? Um, we're going to be creating these chains in Cinema 4D. So let's just begin and let me stop blabbering on. Okay, so what you want to firstly do is get yourself a spline rectangle. This this one here. You just hold it down and go and get yourself a rectangle, just like this, and change the plane from x y to x z or z however you pronounce it okay next we just want to uh, lower the height down just like this just to make it as thin like a chain that will roughly do and to get the rounded edges you want to hit rounding just like that and you can freely change the shape as much as you like so I'm gonna put it about there that looks okay just like that and next what you want to do is get yourself a spline circle so you hold it down again circles right above rectangle see it just like that and make that pretty small so that's like this this is going to be the sort of thickness of the long thing that's what she said <laughs> but anyway um, after that we've got our things now we've got to make this 3d so we're gonna get ourselves a sweep nerve hold down this button here the cube here and get yourself a sweep nerve just like that and you want to drag on the rectangle and then drag on the circle just like that and with there you can see we've got um, the first chain as um, as such one of the pieces of the chain uh, we're gonna make that circle a bit smaller just just like this so the overall chain is a bit smaller like that okay and now we're gonna get ourselves more chains now there is the long way of making loads of copies if you want to do that like this etc etc but we're not gonna do that we're gonna do the quick and easy way and that's by getting yourself a MoGraph going on to cloner and putting this as a child of that just like this as you can see and we want to um, well first we can leave that as 3 what we want to do is drop this down to 0 this is the the PY I believe drop that down and next what we want to do is change the the X uh, to as far as possible about making it so they sort of interlink like this you know not too much we're gonna put it like this you want to put them sort of put it together so no gaps right there like this so we've got ourselves um, a chain of three pieces right now like this but as you can see in my one um, right here you know they're sort of um, rotated and interlocking like that and to do that's quite simple uh, all you have to do is just scroll down a bit on the settings not that go down here and as you can see step rotation the P right here we want to change that all the way up to actually I'll just write in we want to change that to 90 just like that and as you can see we have our chain effect now you can easily 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 just increase the count and you'll have more chains way more chains in fact uh, just like that and it's pretty easy to um, enemy I don't see anything hard about it you just go from first keyframe put the keyframe let's go to 90 and let's just shove this along just like this hit the uh, keyframe button just like that and there they go guys that is pretty much it um, what you could do um, so uh, just a little hint if you wanted to if you want to keyframe it and stuff like that um, in the keyframing process you could um, go over to your first one and just hold on this button if you want to to keyframe the 90 
and then go to the end and just increase it a bit more uh, let's say 180 uh, just because it's the double of that just like that um, maybe not 180 uh, let's say um, 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 uh, 370 let's see okay that will do uh, I don't really care too much so now as it goes past you can have a little effect looks pretty cool to be honest and that is pretty much it guys um, thank you for watching hopefully more tutorials on the way I'm hopefully to do an a structure of um, sort of speed up uh, tutorial speed up tutorial speed up tutorial hopefully I can stick to that plan and keep going like that sometimes they might change about depending on how many contests there are in the GFX community but that's about it guys I am out peace